Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video will be a short one. I just want to use and test it out the non photorealistic rendering from ZBrush. On the next video, I'm going to create my own. So, uh, for that, I just need to go to project and there we have on PR. So, let's see. Uh, they introduce a few of them. So, if we open up this sample. Uh, this is pretty cool robot so let's go and render and there we go uh, the one that I like it this one so we have this beautiful ball and now let's go to low tool and bring up my 3d model so this is a project that I was forced to stop because I need to redo the position because of the client. Too bad, I really like this position. Maybe I'm going to finish myself, but I'm not sure if I have time. But for that, I'm going to use it on my uh, examples. So that's pretty useful. Um, yeah, so let's make a quick render, BPR. This may take a while. As I said before, this is uh, mostly for beginners in ZBrush if they want to use fast BPR. So this is pretty great. I mean, it seems like a cool drawing with uh, cool shadows. <laughs> I like it. Uh, for more uh, experience, if you want to like it like that, uh, let's select these pants so let's go to solo mode and if we want different color we just need to go to select the color let's make them let's go for bluish and color fill object perfect now we can make the cape red so it's just simple as that so let's go to color Fill object. If we want this more orange, color fill object, and let's make another render. Uh, this short presentation I forgot to show you that if we go to lightbox and uh, we're going to go to filters you'll find more uh, NPR settings that were made with uh, Pixelogic team and also beta testers so you just need to uh, apply it to the scene And you can see we have a different render. Let's see. And also it keeps the colors that we add. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see another one. Uh, so the cool thing is that because I have pressed BPR and we are in render, uh, all the time when I'm pressing double click, it will change automatically on the new render. So that's pretty cool and fast. Let's see, let's try this one. Or let's see this one. So that's pretty dope. Because if I'm moving in space, you'll see that those render will disappear. But if I'm pressing again BPR, and we are back to the render so i think these are pretty cool for fast presentation 
Let's try this one. <laughs> That's cool. Okay guys, so that's it for this short presentation. I'm going to make a new video where I'm going to try uh, to enter on all the settings from this uh, new type of rendering. Thank you for watching, take care.